Hi everybody, it is November 29, 2017. I have to say, I am getting more and more sick of our government officials deciding for all of us what is good for us, what is bad for us, what we can do, what we can't do. Aren't we adults? Aren't we supposedly a free people? I got a comment underneath my chronic pain kratom video from a subscriber who told me that Indiana, the excise police in Indiana, is about to go into stores that sell CBD oil. And if they're selling CBD oil, well, they got 60 days in Indiana to either sell it all or pull it from your shelf. God, it must be really bad. Really? They're giving them 60 days to sell it? Uh, if this is so dangerous to be sold, then why aren't they just cracking down and removing it from the shelves immediately? No, you got 60 days to sell or pull it from your shelf. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, Indiana passed a law in April stating that CBD oil can be used by those with epilepsy. Yeah, carve out a condition for a harmless product that helps so many. In fact, there is, let's see, uh, and I'll link below to everything. It is a powerful uh, supplement, yes, 64, uh, 24, I'm sorry, size back health benefits of CBD oil. What are those health benefits? Well, cancer, autoimmune problems, inflammation, uh, neurodegenerative diseases, MS. Uh, it's therapeutically beneficial for schizophrenics. It uh, helps people with epilepsy, anxiety, pain rheumatoid arthritis, nausea, uh, diabetes, heart health, depression, inflammatory bowel disease, bacteria, it protects from, uh, oh, mad cow disease, it promotes bone growth, um, insomnia, quitting smoking, acting, acne, psoriasis. Uh, well, if you click on these hyperlinks, let's do let's do uh, neurodegenerative diseases. CBD oil may protect from neurodegenerative diseases. And you'll come to this page and all of these um, colored hyperlinks, if you click on these, well, they bring you to the studies. And wow, it's our government who did a study to find out that there are neuroprotective effects from CBD oil. Isn't it interesting that so many states and government officials want to get rid of it? Or those states that have actually um, allowed the use of CBD oil? Well, they have an awful lot of stipulations. Like, let's see, Alabama in 2014, the governor passed a law, SB 174, known as Carly's Law. Usually when they have a law with a name, it relates to some child. So, Alabama allows for an affirmative defense against prosecution for CBD possession by people suffering from a debilitating epileptic condition. The law states that a prescription for the possession or use of CBD has authorized, as authorized by this act shall be provided exclusively shall be provided exclusively by the University of Alabama at Birmingham for a debilitating epileptic condition. So you can only get a prescription for CBD as authorized by the University of Alabama that seems a little bizarre. And you can only have a debilitating epileptic condition when we know that so many are benefiting from CBD oil.
for so many other conditions, um, why carve out just these loan stipulations or carve out, let's see, other, let's see, Florida here, uh, cancer. You can only use CBD oil as long as it has less than 0.8% THC and more than 10% of the oil, the CBD oil, for certain patients with cancer, chronic seizures, or severe muscle spasms. Yes, Governor Scott in 2014 said, as a father and grandfather, you never want to see kids suffer. So the approval of Charlotte's Web, a low THC cannabis oil used to treat illnesses such as epilepsy in children. It will ensure that children in Florida who suffer from seizures and other debilitating illnesses will have the medication needed to improve their quality of life. I am proud to stand today with families who deserve the ability to provide their children with the best treatment available. So CBD oil is safe for children, but you're going to carve out all of these uh, specific conditions safe for children, but adults in Florida don't have the right, if they have a different kind of condition, they don't have the right, the legal right, to obtain CBD, CBD oil to use. No, they're children. That's right, our government officials. They are the daddy who decides, or the mommy who decides, like Governor uh, Nikki Haley, who is now the United Nations ambassador, South Carolina. 2014, Governor Nikki Haley signed S. 1035 into law Julian's law that pertains to people who obtain a written certification signed by a physician stating that the patient has been diagnosed with Lennox Gastaut uh, syndrome. Don't know what it is. Uh, Dravet syndrome. Is that how you pronounce it? Don't know, but it's also known as severe myocolonic epilepsy of infancy or any other severe form of epilepsy that is not adequately treated by traditional medical therapies and the physician's conclusion that the patient might benefit from the medical use of CBD oil. These patients may use CBD oil that is less than 0.9 THC, more than 15% oil, CBD oil, which is to be provided by the Medical University of South Carolina. Regulation, yes, tight regulation. You can only get it from the Medical University of South Carolina. And it's actually you've got to be in a study to determine the effects of CBD on controlling seizures. Wow. Well, if you fit into that tight stipulation, then you'll be able to receive the benefits of CBD oil. I'll link below to this. I mean, it is so outrageous. Marijuana. Have you ever heard anybody who smoked a joint and then beat the shit out of his wife or kids? Have you ever known marijuana to be associated with domestic violence? Have you ever known somebody to smoke a joint and then go out and kill someone? Alcohol is legal and causes such problems in our society every day, every month, every year. Alcohol is so related to domestic violence, but that's legal. That you can get without stipulation if you're of legal age. But marijuana? No. Yeah. Indiana governor. No, we can't have THC on the loose in Indiana. Even if it is a, such a low percentage, 0.3% in these products. 
and the stores that sell them. You guys have to get rid of them within 60 days. Well, there are organizations that aren't going out without a fight. The industry will likely need to lobby. Yeah, you will need to lobby. And I'm so sick of having to fight like hell to determine what we as adults can use to feel better. You know, these natural products, sorry for the phone ringing, I can't get it stopped. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, I just hung up on the person, I'll call them back. Um, when are we ever going to grow up? When are we ever going to grow up in this society? And stop letting these select few determine for us. What we can and cannot take to feel better. Especially when it is a substance that is natural, but it's also a substance that studies have shown the benefits and the list is long. I'm going to link below to this video. It's uh, Truthstream Media's video posted yesterday. They're trying to ban another harmless plant that helps people. Kratom. So, um, she does a much better job in this video. I hope that you watch it and I hope that you circulate it. Yes, FDA cracking down, wants to ban outright the use of Kratom, another natural uh, plant that people have used for thousands of years. and it relieves pain and um, anxiety, depression, like the marijuana plant. So they want to get rid of Kratom. They have states, now some states have you know, made legal uh, the use of marijuana. I believe Maine, it is completely legal now. Okay, so why from state to state do we have uh, such a difference if there is such a problem with marijuana? Why would Maine legalize marijuana and Indiana, they've got, you can't even sell CBD oil because this, the use of CBD oil is restricted only for severe epilepsy and, and uh, you can't have everybody selling it, no. It, it has to be highly regulated. There's got to be a registry and it can only be used. It can only be used for epilepsy. And yet they are getting people who are calling people with arthritis, Parkinson's disease, mental illness. Don't understand why there is such a resistance to allow people to get this product here. It either works or it doesn't. You can't abuse it. So, why? Why? Has the governor received some money from the pharmaceutical industry to put in his pocket? To, to unleash the excise police in Indiana? What, what I read state excise police. What the hell is that? The excise police in Indiana. It is the Law Enforcement Division of the Alcohol and Tobacco Commission. Um, he's, he's setting them loose to go into stores to check for that CBD oil. And yet, you know, this CBD oil, um, <laughs> it's, there's, it's not the psychoactive substance of the marijuana plant. CBD is one of the 400 plus ingredients found in marijuana and is not psychoactive. So why? Why why is this happening? Well, they want to make sure that people are forced to take pharmaceuticals, to take drugs that are known as when you listen to Melissa talk about how many people die each year from pharmaceutical prescriptive medications and yeah the FDA came out and said 36 people died of Kratom and I don't even believe it I don't even believe it but 
how many people have you heard who have overdosed from CBD oil or marijuana smoking a joint? This country is utterly insane. I had hoped to live the day when I could see some sanity manifest. But the only way that it can manifest is if the people rise up and demand that it manifest. Demand that this governor does not get to decide for all of you in Indiana whether or not you can use CBD oil. Why are we letting this happen? Why do we continually allow these people to treat us like children? The mommy and daddy legislators. Uh, all links are below. You let me know. Are you sick of this country at this point? Are you sick of these people? You know, it's it either comes from their own personal prejudice. You know, THC. Oh, it has a minute bit of THC in that CBD oil. Well, let's make it illegal. So it either comes from their own personal prejudice or they are getting money from the pharmaceutical industry to crack down to force people to take their unbelievably dangerous pharmaceuticals that have been known to lead to death. Not marijuana, not crate. 